Okay, welcome to chapter 12 on talk. Okay, so what is talk? Um, talk is something that causes an object's angular momentum to change. Okay, so we looked at angular momentum in chapter 11. Okay, and um, in the same way that a force, an external force, causes the, the momentum of an object to change, the, the torque causes the angular momentum to change. So, is it okay if we look over here? So, a force causes the momentum of an object to change, causes delta momentum, and torque causes delta angular momentum okay so this is the rotational equivalent let's call it the rotational equivalent of force okay all right so let's go back here eventually Okay, sorry about that. My computer is like from the 1980s. Okay, so this is what we're looking at, torque. And uh, what we saw in chapter 11 was that the tangential component of forces causes this angular momentum to change. Okay, what do we mean by that? Well, if we look over here, this object has a certain angular momentum. Perhaps it's, uh, so this is like a wheel or something like that. Perhaps the angular momentum is zero, or it's going at with a constant angular ve velocity, which with a, with a constant angular momentum. And what happens if we apply a force perpendicular to this, so that it's pointing towards the center? That, that force does not change the angular momentum. Only a tangential force like this would uh, change the angular momentum. Or if you're opening um, a cap or, or a, a bottle or something like that, and you apply your fingers like that, um, the only force components that are causing a, a change in angular momentum are these tangential components. Okay? Okay, so um, we need to see two important things here that with with uh, force, if you, if you increase the force, you're going to increase the acceleration, okay? That's very straightforward. So F equals MA, A is F over M. If you increase the force, your acceleration will increase. So it's, it's, very, it's very simple to understand. But when it comes to a torque, okay? Um, not only the force, not only the, f the magnitude of the force plays a role in the torque or the change in angular momentum, but also where you apply this force. Okay, do you apply it close to this point of rotation or there or there or there? So both the magnitude and the, let's call it the point of application, both of these play a role in the torque. So that's, um, that's important. Okay, so um, for example, let's look at, at the, this picture over here of a little, a little guy, like my little guy, on the seesaw, and you're trying to rotate the seesaw. Where would you rather, wh what is easier? To push over here, down, to push over there, down, or to push over there, but at an angle. These are different examples of where you could be pushing in order to rotate this seesaw. So where would you, what is your gut feeling? What's your experience like? Well, we know that this is the best place to push. Okay. As we uh, get closer and closer to this pivot, we know that it gets harder and harder to raise this person up from the ground to there. It gets harder and harder. And if we push at an angle, it's also harder 
So this is the optimal direction of pushing. Okay? And in the next one, we will explain how this works. Cheers.